what's going on everybody got another video here for you this video is finding the distance between two lines that are skew okay so we know what skew lines are or if we don't let me refresh your memory they are lines that do not intersect and they're not parallel okay so so let's find this the distance between line l1 and l2 so so let's let's think about this for just a second on how we're going to find this well do we do we have us a formula for the distance between two lines well we do have a formula for the distance from a point to a plane okay and let's just write that down the distance and we'll call that d from a point and we'll call that p1 which has coordinates x1 y1 whoop, and z1 to the plane ax plus by plus c whoop, plus c z plus d equals zero is d is equal to absolute value ax1 plus by1 plus c z1 plus d divided by a squared plus b squared plus c squared and then it's the square root of all that all right <clears throat> so we have a we have a formula for the distance from a point to a plane all right so we know that l1 and l2 are skew and we can and we can we can have two planes say p1 and p2 that contain lines l1 and l2 that are parallel we can find two planes we, 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 we can we can find two planes that are parallel and um so basically we uh we can find a common normal vector to both planes okay all right <clears throat> so <clears throat> so let's think about this for a second i need a vector that's i need a vector that's perpendicular to both planes and i can't remember now i'm thinking i might have said earlier i might have said we can find a vector that's parallel to both planes if i said parallel to both planes i mean perpendicular to both planes all right so 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 let's see if we can do that and 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 how would we do that so 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 basically what we're going to do is we're going to find a, the equation of a plane that contains one of these lines and then we're going to find a point on the other line and then find the distance between those that's that's why i wrote this formula down all right so if we look at this we can say vector v1 is equal to now this is going to be the a vector the vector that's parallel to line l1 and that would be one three negative one okay remember remember the uh the vector that's parallel is a b c which a is in front of is the coefficient of t here b is the coefficient of t in the y equation and then c is the coefficient of t in this z equation and then for v2 a vector that's parallel to uh, line l2 would be the coefficient of s this s and this s so that would be two three four i'm sorry not three two one four 
I was looking at the three, but it's the one. All right. So vector V1 is parallel to L1. Vector V2 is parallel to L2. Okay. All right. So now let's find a vector that's normal to both of these. Okay. So how do we find a vector that's perpendicular to both of these? Well, we can say the normal vector would be what? The cross product of V1 and V2. So we've got I, J, K, and that would be 1, 3, negative 1, 2, 1, 4. Now you should know how to find the the cross product by now. So if we knock out this column, this row, that's going to be 3 times 4 is 12 minus negative 1 times vector i minus, and then we've got 4 minus negative 2. 4 minus negative 2 times vector j plus and then for this we got 1 minus 6 1 minus 6 times vector k and so we get our normal vector is 13i uh, minus 6j minus 5k so that's our normal vector all right so let's look at finding the equation of a plane so there's a rule that says a scalar equation of the plane through point We'll say P naught, which is X naught, Y naught, Z naught, with normal vector N equals A, B, C is A times X minus X naught plus B times Y minus Y naught plus C times Z minus Z naught equals zero. All right, so find, to find the equation of a plane, we need a point and we need the normal vector. Well, we've got a normal vector, but now we need a point. So when, when we find the equation of a plane that contains a line, we can find the we can find the equation of a plane that contains this line or this one. Well, for the plane, let's find the equation of the plane that contains line L2. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let S equal 0. And then if I plug 0 into each of these, I get X equals 0, Y equals 3, and Z equals negative 3. All right. So... So when I let S equal zero, you can see my point is going to be zero, three, negative three. Okay, that's I got that from right here. Okay, I just had to scroll up so we could see the equations. I'm just plugging zero in for S. And so that gives me a point on this line, which the line is in the plane. Okay. All right, so now you can see we have this is A, B, C, and this is X naught, Y naught, Z naught. Okay, so the equation of our plane is 13, we're just using this formula, times X minus 0, plus, no, not plus, minus, 6 times x minus 3 minus 5 times x minus negative 3 equals 0. And then when we distribute, 
combine like terms, we get our equation to be 13x minus 6y minus 5z plus 3 equals 0. All right, so this is the equation of a plane, okay, that contains line L2. Okay, all right, now we've got our plane for our formula, for our formula right here. We've got our plane. Now we need a point because see it's the distance D from a point to the plane. So we need a point that's on this line. So what I'll do here is I'll let T equal zero. And then if I plug zero into each one, I get X equal one. Uh, y equals negative 2 and z equals 4. Okay. All right. So so this is uh, this is plane P2. It contains line L2. And then if I let t equal 0, I got the point 1 negative 2 4. Okay, that's coming from this up here, what I did right here. Okay, all right, now, this, this right here is, uh, this is a point on L1. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going to find the distance from this point to this plane. So I'm going to get my distance is equal to, and I'll go ahead and write the formula down again, AX1 plus B, whoop, plus BY1 plus CZ1 plus D over A squared plus B squared plus C squared. And it's the square root of that. All right, so let's see what we've got here. Well, we've got this is A, this is B, this is C, and this is D. And then here we have X1, Y1, Z1. All right. All right, so now just plug everything in. So we're going to get D is equal to A times X1 plus B. B is negative, so that's minus 6 times negative 2 uh, plus C. C is negative 5, so that's minus 5 times 4 plus D, which is 3. All right, and that is all divided by uh, 13 squared plus negative 6 squared plus negative 5 squared, and it's the square root of all that. And you end up with 8 over the square root of 230. And that's your answer. So that's that's how you find the distance between two skew lines. So basically what we're doing is we're finding the equation of a plane that contains one of the lines. Now keep in mind you got the two skew lines. Okay. So just just think about it. They they don't intersect and but they're not parallel. So you gotta think of them as in, in three, you know, they're in three dimension. So they're crossing over each other, but it's like one line is above another. Okay, they're not going in the same direction. They're going in different directions, but they're they're above each other. Okay, and they and they don't they don't intersect. So so think of it like that. Uh, so you're finding an equation that contains one one of the lines and then a point from another and then that plane that plane 
the equation of the plane that we found, that plane is parallel to both of those lines. Okay. Uh, because, because see, look, the vector we had have, see, this vector is in this vector, those vectors, this vector is parallel to L1, this vector is parallel to L2. And so we're finding our normal vector based on these two vectors. And then that's where we get the equation of our plane. All right. So I hope that video helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, subscribe, comment, and I will see y'all in the next one later.